It's a strange thing. When Voyager 1 photographed Earth from 6.4 billion kilometers away, the image was nearly pitch black. Yet from Earth, we gaze up at a sky filled with stars. Is it all just an illusion? Or is there truly something blocking us from exploring the universe? In 1950, Dutch astronomer Jan Oort noticed strange patterns in the orbits of comets and proposed the existence of a distant region, the Oort cloud. Although its existence has been indirectly supported by comet orbits and aphelion points, we have never directly observed it. To find answers, humanity has spent billions of dollars launching probes, but compared to the vast universe, these spacecraft crawl like turtles, so slow that even the solar system's boundary, roughly two light years across, remains out of reach. Nevertheless, the probes have left behind many puzzling clues. In January 2003, after nearly 30 years of stable flight, Pioneer 10 suddenly encountered a strong burst of electromagnetic radiation. Before losing contact, it transmitted a strange signal. Voyager 1 and 2 also experienced radio interference from unknown sources when passing through the same region. Analysis of these signals led to a chilling hypothesis that the solar system seems to be enveloped by an invisible force, one that both shields Earth and limits humanity's steps outward. That boundary is called the heliopause, the outermost layer of the heliosphere. It includes the termination shock and a roughly spherical structure where the solar wind slows and piles up into a superheated hydrogen wall about 2 billion kilometers thick with temperatures reaching 50,000 degrees Celsius. So why didn't Voyager melt? Because the particle density there is extremely low, not enough to transfer heat like it does on Earth. In other words, the heliopause is an invisible firewall blocking cosmic radiation while limiting humanity's exploration range. If the Oort cloud exists, it could extend at least two light years in radius, forming a gigantic sphere that locks in the solar system. Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object, would still need another 30,000 years to even think about crossing it. Computer simulations suggest the Oort cloud is like the shell of a cosmic lock that keeps us trapped in this tiny domain. But what if the so-called Earth prison hypothesis is true? What if the star-filled sky we see is merely a giant projected simulation? Or worse, what if all of physics as we know it is just an elaborate script designed to perform for us? If there were no Oort cloud barrier, what would the true universe actually look like?